Next item is our risk management policy. It starts on page 54 and there's a recommendation on page 55. Mover and a seconder, please. Moved by Councillor Cordover, seconded by Councillor Midgley. Councillor Cordover. Thank you very much, Mayor. And we're looking here at the risk management policy. And so firstly, I'd like to thank the author, Mr Breen, for bringing this to us. Um, essentially, um, the attached policy has been reviewed by the audit panel and there are a few minor changes that have been made as identified in the markup copy, which you can see. Um, councils, the main change is essentially that uh, it aligns, the main change to the policy is to align the types of risk with those being used in the risk matrix. And Council's risk management framework, risk appetite statement and strategic risk register uh, are being reviewed by the audit panel. So I thought I would invite Mr Breen to comment on the risk management policy and highlight any of the main um, updated changes or any commentary that he thinks is relevant. Mr Breen. Uh, yes, through you, Mayor. Uh, look, essentially, um, uh, that was a pretty good summary by Councillor Cordova. Um, there's very little change to the uh, risk management policy other than aligning the, uh, the types of risk with our uh, risk matrix. Um, as a result of the, the recent Council workshop, uh, the risk management framework will be reviewed uh, by the audit panel at their February meeting, uh, which also includes the, uh, uh, the uh, risk appetite statement and the strategic risk register, so both those will be part of that review process. So the hope would be that um, after the audit panel has reviewed those, uh, we'll bring those back to Council just to confirm uh, that the, uh, the updated framework, appetite statement and register are in line with the discussions at the, uh, uh, this, the uh, risk management workshop. Thanks very much. So I'll just basically summarise, Mayor, by saying that obviously Council recognises that risk is a, a, an integral part of any um, management plan and part of good governance and part of putting the community at the heart of everything we do in accordance with our strategic plan is making sure that we have really sensible policies and procedures around risk and that we also try as best we can to see some of the risks coming down the road. So we've had some really valuable workshops and uh, conversations around the Chamber about how we best mitigate and manage risk and we're also, I think, alert and alive to the fact that there are some risks coming down the pike, some indeed which are already here, for example, anthropogenic climate change, which the Council needs to be adaptive and um, needs to be agile to be able to manage those risks as we move forward. So again, I thank all the staff for their involvement and their, um, their hard work on this, and I yield the floor. Thanks, Mayor. Councillor Westwood. Thank you. 